The year I turned 30, and as a typical Capricorn, I decided upon a theme and approach for the new year. The theme was straightforward. If it scares you, do it. And oh, how I honored those words. A few weeks post-birthday, a question appeared on my feed from Rob Reddy, artistic director of a theater company named Piano Fight. The question read something like, Hi folks, we need one date more dating gang participant hosted at Z Space venue, woman seeking man, hit us up if it's you. <laughs> I read it and my heart beat quickly in my chest. My stomach burned and I became a little sweaty. Fuck, oh my God, okay. That sounds legit terrifying. Dating game questions on stage in front of a live audience? But I am single. Oh shoot, okay. I guess that means I'm reaching out. <laughs> so, I did. And like that, I was in. It was my first time being on stage since I was in high school. The experience was initially nerve-inducing and invigorating with a flair of tequila. <laughs> the closing part of the show had arrived and we were instructed to dance to whatever, so whatever music came on upon our term. My soul sang when my selection was an instrumental ballad. <laughs> Everything inside me stirred as the sound of every horn string channeled through my limbs. I had escaped into the sounds. <laughs> my arms and legs swept and down the stage with emotion. It was the Game of Thrones theme song. <laughs> The experience on stage was so fun and I felt so high and proud of myself for showing up on that stage. And yes, I did end up dating someone, not on the show, but from the audience, which lasted one awkward but interesting month. <laughs> but hey, it was, you know, a good time and on brand with the year of 30 energy. <laughs> that evening lit up a spark inside. My inner light felt brightened while being in front of an audience. The responses, the laughs, all of it. That charge, that high felt on the stage needed to be felt again. I realized for this chapter in my life, the performance stage was how I could keep showing up to face my fears and insecurities. Throughout much of my young life, in both larger social situations and romantic endeavors, I found myself battling with inner thoughts, questioning myself and how I came off to others. My inward story equated to me presenting myself fully meant not being accepted and not feeling fully safe. Insecure, for sure. I would observe these thoughts from the outside and want to like shake my shoulders, shouting, perhaps gently, Georgia, what are you going on about? But it was there regardless. I could also become very, very quiet, yet very observant, like a mouse, watching and being protective of my inner person. However, if a bond and trust was formed with someone, this all faded away. Because I loved making people engage, laugh, play, and have fun, and I loved everyone being real. This would have me vibrate with electricity, feeling strong when a connection made was successful. The truth was, I felt fear in expressing myself as a larger personality for all to see, at least in that all day, every day kind of way. I mean, I was having fun, living life, and making friends. It was just that internal self-battle madness, which is by the time I reached my new decade of 30, I was over it. <laughs> time to show up and face those inner fears and stories. With the help of social media, I was following along with the happenings of Bay Area comedy and theater, more specifically, Piano Fight. I had first been introduced to Piano Fight by my best friend from high school, Nina, back in 2009. She spoke very enthusiastically of all of these creative group of folks making theater and having fun. Upon seeing my first Piano Fight show in their small theater on Mission Street, I, find my, I found myself pulled into the orbit of this somewhat fantastical group. Like, watching an episode of Friends, but far larger and louder, with creators getting loose and wanting to create. While I did not consider myself a theater gal or even one for the stage, something within me would whisper, this is where you should show up. About four years later, in 2013, the information started coming in hot, 
sharing the news these piano fight kids had done something truly wild. They bought a venue, a big one, with several stages, a bar, a restaurant, a basement for dressing rooms, rehearsals, and so much more. My first feelings were, cool alert. <laughs> and how do I get more involved? When I learned they would be hosting a New Year's Eve party, it was an easy RSVP, yep. <laughs> Weeks before turning 30 and a month before the dating show experience, I showed up to this piano fight venue with Nina for New Year's Eve, who was in town along with another girlfriend, Emma. While I was fresh off a breakup that stung, it was also the time of a new decade, baby. The call to follow the fear was getting louder with each step I took into this world of creators. We enter the space. The walls are only made up of drywall, and I am hit with the smell of halted construction, paired with the success of forward-moving dreams. <laughs> Wafting throughout the dusty air, settling onto my New Year's outfit. Upon entry, a young man greets us at the door. He was sporting a pink shirt and bow tie and happy energy. Nina and Emma are giving hugs and catching up with this gent, a person unknown to me. They introduced me to the door guy with whom I greeted with a hello and a smile and continued into the party. Not too much thought went into this interaction. After we are inside, Emma pauses, turns to me and whispers, oh my God. I don't know how this did not hit me before, but you and Clint would be perfect for each other. I laugh and do not think too much of it. Who was that guy? How does she know that? I shrug it off as I am not in the romance headspace. It was more of a independent woman, Georgia gets her groove back kind of night. <laughs> but indeed, the seed was planted. The party was lit and the spirit burned bright within those unfinished walls. This venue was happening. The feeling came to me again. Just keep showing up, Georgia. You need to be here. After the dating show, I signed up for improv classes and kept taking one after another. And just like that, my heart opened up for the love of playing with a team while on stage. Pretty sure my inner child was having a flippin' blast. <laughs> it was in this year I realized I am safe to be me. I am safe to have fun and be silly and create. And while the piano fight venue itself was not officially open to the public, I would attend classes in the gritty basement with other like-minded fellows, all of us together learning how to embrace our truths just a little bit tighter. And it was somewhere in that year I thought, yep, this place, this scene is where I'm going to meet my person. They understand me, they get me here. Well. Time passed, it was almost the end of the 2014 year, and I had yet to find anyone in this world of theater where dating would be considered. So, I kept an open relationship with Piano Fight. <laughs> they were months shy of opening to the public, and I was looking forward to a future of shows and hangs. But, keeping on brand with my, with my year's theme, I ventured into the world of online dating. <laughs> After a few dates, <laughs> I was about to tap out because online dating is fucking work. <laughs> However, I ended up sticking it out with a hipster vinyl DJ. <laughs> Admittedly, the pairing did not make too much sense, but so it went. Six months later, I needed to break up with DJ Dude. It was a trickier situation than I would have preferred. So, for solo time, I would go to shows at the now open piano fight because, as always, this space was my safe place. One summer night, I was at a Chardonnay sketch comedy show <laughs> where Emma and a few of my friends and acquaintances performed. Post-show, I am sitting solo at the bar, waiting for the ladies to come out. <laughs> I feel a little socially awkward, but am enjoying myself. And suddenly, like that, a young man pulls up next to me at the bar. I look his way and, holy whoa, it is that guy. That guy that Emma said would be, would be perfect for each other. The comment buzzes in my mind and a smile breaks onto my face. We reintroduce ourselves. His name is Clint. And we end up talking the night away. 
He had been a stage managing at Piano Fight since 2009, and he was Rob Reddy's roommate? <laughs> How we never cross paths, we do not know. But the universe can be quite clever, I have found. The bar grew crowded and nightlife zoomed around us as our conversation flowed into the night. It was just the two of us, and that evening we were in our own existence. At some point in our convo, in an effort to keep it real, I mentioned how French fries are the way to my heart. Flowers, maybe, but fries, oh yes. <laughs> Clint is somewhat abruptly informed by, ride, by Rob their ride is happening now, which created a hastened exit. It is almost as if we are holding hands, we weren't, sliding our fingers across each other while being pulled in different directions. As Clint backs up into the crowd for the door, he shouts to me over the bar with his eyes still locked on mine, I want to take you out for French fries! <laughs> My heart skips a beat. My cheeks flush. I sit, somewhat stunned. No numbers exchanged, but I was vibrating, and I just felt trust. The next day, there is a new message in my DMs. It is Clint. <laughs> With the perfect words reflecting back my feelings of our interaction, it was signed, to French fries and beyond. <laughs> I break up with DJ Dude. <laughs> a long time coming, but sometimes life just does what it does. The following week, I let Clint know I am out of the woods and we go on our first date. It was safe, warm, and connected with a first kiss for the books. After that date, many more firsts ensued in that year and onward. My first hosting gig for an improv show, Thunderdome, my first opportunity to act in a series of short plays in the piano fight show, Short Lived. My first leading role in the full production, Oreo Carrot Danger, produced by Faultline at Piano Fight. My first time being a part of the house improv group, Miss Connections. My first time performing with Chardonnay for their first full length play. My first time saying I love you. And my first time living with my romantic partner. Here I am now, standing on stage here at Piano Fight in 2023, a group of people and then a place which led me on a journey to myself, but also my person, now husband, Clint. I kept showing up for me, pushing forward into fear to unearth the performer within. And the adventure continues with our amazing, now two-year-old son, Bruno, <laughs> a creation of this Piano Fight love. Thank you, Piano Fight, for helping me find my person, and yes, my person in partnership, but also finding me and accepting my inner self. Thank you, Piano Fight, for giving me the space to shine the light on my creative being. I am grateful to still be in orbit with this community and to have our families and love still so bonded together. And I look forward to seeing what blooms next. Give it up for Georgia Louisa!